uh, starting off with, with James Madison. What, what stands out about their, their running game? They'll use a couple of different backs, and, and I know Kirk likes to run the football there. Yeah, they, they do a tremendous job. You know, they're physical up front. Uh, they got good backs, and then schematically, they do a nice job with formations, different spacing. Um, and then, you know, they, in, you know, they also use the quarterback as well, which uh, makes it stressful to, uh, to get a lot of box, or excuse me, a lot of hats in the box. Hey, what, what's the challenge for a defense when, when a quarterback like McLeod can, can kind of improvise a little bit behind the line of scrimmage? Yeah, I mean, I think it goes at all positions. Um, you know, guys that are athletic um, are hard to handle. Uh, he's one of those guys, and, uh, you know, he'll be a great challenge for us on Saturday. And what's the challenge of, of scouting a quarterback like that who you really haven't seen in that system? Yeah, you know, we, we've got a bunch of young guys that are super athletic at that quarterback spot that have been, uh, you know, doing a nice job of running around the field, creating with their feet. And uh, we, we think they've done a really nice job. When you watch back the film, how much has Cam Robinson grown? You see him at that game experience? Yeah, I think you know, any time that you get a chance to get on that field, um, it's different than practice. Um, and you know, for him to be able to be part of you know great environments, uh, he'll be part of a great environment this weekend too. So we're, we're excited to be back at Scott and get a chance to go against uh, you know a really talented team here from the Commonwealth. Where have you seen where have you seen Cam grow the most? Um, you know, I just. It's, you, the biggest challenge is when you transition from high school, or really from any other program, um, is just learning the schematics and the terminology. And so his ability to communicate um, has come a long way as a football player. And uh, you know it's a testament to uh, his hard work and uh, you know the type of you know sharp young man he is. In theory, playing an elite opponent like Tennessee should pay dividends down the road because your guys have experienced you know, really top level talent. Has has that been the case for you as a coach? When when your teams play, you know, a really elite team. Yeah, you know, I, you're better for you, whether the game goes well or not. You know, my best coach ever has been failure, and that that that's just life. As far as the opportunity for us to to learn, um, that that's day in and day out. And um, you know, shoot, I, I think everybody wants to win, um, and that's in every aspect of life. Um, but it's to be able to take those failures to look at and be introspective on how, how we can be better. Um, and we'll do the same thing with this practice film today. And that's the type of mentality that this group has. When you were recruiting Cam, what kind of stood out on his film when you first saw him? Well, you know, we, we went as a staff and watched him play basketball. Um, and, you know, there was one opportunity. He went to the basket and you th we thought it was just going to be a layup. And he went and he just went over him and boom. And, you know, he dunked that thing. So just, just athletically. He's a really explosive athlete, loves to compete, and, uh, and you know, he'll be a fun one to coach for, for many years. Run defense-wise, when you look back at it, were you okay with it, not pleased? How do you look back at no. Saturday's run? Yeah, we, we, that's, the, that's where we're going to start. Is if we, we've got to be great against the run game. Um, if not, it's very, very difficult to play good defense. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. And so what we got to do is uh, we've got to play great run defense this weekend against, uh, frankly, an offense that's very balanced. Um, but that's committed to running the football. How are you uh, looking at tackling this past weekend? Good, bad, and kind of where you thought it would yeah, be? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing was probably a little bit too leaky. Too many yards after contact. Um, we got to do a great job as far as punching them back. Um, and then on initial contact, not letting a two-yard gain become a five- or seven-yard gain. And that gets you into more manageable third-down situations, which translates to shorter fields for the offense and getting off on third down. Those two things true in the red zone to run defense and yards after contact, or was it different in the red zone? That yeah, you know, it all, it's all the same, and it's you know it comes down to being decisive with our run fits, um, you know, punching gaps down there, and we we've got to find uh, you know we we must be better, and you know we got to be great in the red zone, um, and that's that's something that I know our guys take a lot of pride in. We're expected to have about fifty to sixty thousand people at Scott Stadium uh, this Saturday. What are you looking for for the fans to help energize the defense and get off the field and they're down? Yeah, it's always great being in Scott. You just the energy that the student body brings, um, along with uh, the, you know this community that uh, bleeds for uh, UVA football. And so it'll be special to be back in Scott. And I know our players are looking forward to it. What did you like about what you saw from Sam Westfall on Saturday? You know, Sam did a nice job as far as you know staying on top of routes. Um, you know, he's a com he's a competitor. He's a student of the game, and does a nice job as far as being able to, to look at sets and be able to determine, okay, hey, what are we going to see here? What to anticipate that allows him to play really fast.